You know, merong verse of Bible, sabi niya, a good tree cannot produce, uh, cannot produce bad fruit, nor can a bad tree produce good fruit. I'm sure you want to have a lot of good fruit, tama? Okay? What should you do if you want to have a lot of good fruit? What should you do? You know, many people, some people will tell you, some, some of you will say, you plant a good tree, you grow a good tree. Struggle ako dun sa nagsabi, plant a good tree. Struggle talaga ako dun. Bakit? Diba? Ang tanong ko, kung good na yung tree, may may-ari niyan, will he sell it to you? No. Diba? Ito problema ko eh. Today, as I talk to many young businessmen, ang tanong nila sa akin parati, anong magandang negosyong pasukin? And I always tell them, walang magandang negosyo. Walang pangit. Lahat ng negosyo, maganda. Lahat ng negosyo, pangit. Kasi wala yan sa negosyo na sa tao nagpapalaki ng negosyo. Because if you want to have a good tree, you need to be a good farmer in order to grow a good tree. In business, I realize it's about the person. It is not about the product. In farming, people will always ask me, what's a good plant What's a good plant to grow? And I always ask them, why are you asking that? It's not about your plant, it's about the farmer. So, you know, gusto ko sana isa niyo ma-realize today, your success is not about your product. Your success is about you because you're all advisors. You're basically independent business unit. So therefore, you have a tree to grow. I will not, this, this, this morning, I will not talk about the business, but instead, I'd like to talk about the farmer. Bakit? Because as I studied the Bible, I discovered that God created man to farm. Let me explain, ha? After God created the world, He created everything with all its animals in Genesis chapter 1. Alam mo, God did something to me weird in Genesis chapter 2. In Genesis chapter 2, sabi dyan, no? the Lord God planted a garden toward the east in Eden, and there He placed the man whom He had formed. You know, ang hindi ko maintindihan, God created this big world to be managed, and yet He planted a garden for Adam. So, tanong ko, bakit? Just try to understand it, and tanong ko, anong gusto niyang gawin sa garden? In Genesis 2.15, sabi dyan, then the Lord God took man and put him into the Garden of Eden to cultivate and keep it. My question, if God planted the garden, would that be a good garden? Do you think it will be a good garden? Do you think it is a perfect garden? Perfect siguro, no? Now, ang tanong ko, why, does, why did he ask man to cultivate it? Ang ibig pagsabihin ng cultivate, sabi dyan, it is to work, to serve, to slave. Sabi niya, pagsilbihan mo yung garden mo. So, ang tanong ko, bakit mo kailangan gawin yun? If the garden is perfect, why do you have to work? You know, one of the reasons why people fail today, Filipinos, is because naniniwala sila that work is part of the curse God gave man after his sin. That is not true. Man sinned in Genesis 3. This is Genesis 2. So, that means even before the fall. Pero ang tanong nga, bakit mo kailangan i-cultivate ang perfect garden? To answer that, I, let me ask you another question. What will happen to a garden that is perfect if you continue to take without taking care of it? What will happen? It will become barren. And that's the reason why our first farm, the farm, was barren. Bakit? Kasi yung unang may-ari, kinuna niya eh. Hindi niya inalagaan. Do you know that the, the Philippines used to be one big garden? Today, karamihan ng lupa, barren. Pero on the other hand, ito tanong, what will happen to barren land if you cultivate and take care of it? What will happen to barren land? The barren land becomes this. You have the ability to take barren land and make it good. But if you do not understand what God wants you to do, you can take fruitful land and make it barren. You are part of a good company. You are part of this conglomerate, one of the, the, some of the biggest corporations, SM and other company. That means a company is good. Now you are asked to join to farm it. Pag hindi nyo naintindihan, you can make it barren. But on the other hand, you can also make it 
fruitful or make it a good garden. Na sa inyo yun. And then, meron pa akong dapat gusto i-emphasize dun sa verse ng Genesis 2.15. Sabi dyan, Then the Lord God took man then put him into the garden of Eden to cultivate, very important, keep it. What does it mean to keep it? Sabi, you protect it, you preserve it. Do you know why the Philippines is poor? Because people keep on leaving their land and going somewhere else. Sabi nila, walang kita sa farming. So, binenta nila yung lupa. Di ba? Pinabayaan nila. Hindi nila ginamit. As I look at you, I, I, I was told some of you come from the province. Some of you have land. The reason why you are now with BDO, because hindi kumita yung lupa eh. Bakit? Hindi mo inalagaan eh. To me, anything can be good. Depende. Tapos may problema pa ngayon ang mga millennials. They go from one job to another. They hop. So, ano nangyayari? Because you did not keep it, it doesn't grow. Okay? So, yun ang gusto ni God. God, God will give you a garden. Your garden today is your job. And for you to succeed, He wants you to cultivate and keep it. If you cultivate and keep your garden, you will never be in need, but will always have abundance. You cultivate, you work it, you protect it. But also, with the concept of a plant, you stay put. Diba? Keeping means you stay put. Wag kang, wag, kang, wag kang alis ng alis so that you can cultivate it. You know, I realize that God did not make us to hunt. God did not create us to hunt. God created us to farm. You know, one of my struggles as a farmer, pati kong tinatanong, bakit ba mayroong kaingin? Alam niyo kaingin? They go to the land, ubusin nila yung nutrients, alis sila. Why? Because I realize even farmers have now become hunters. Anong hunter? They go to the land, kung gusto nila kunin yung opportunity. Pag ubus na, iwanan nila. Okay? And that's the reason why farmers today are poor. Now, this just explains to me bakit nangyayari to sa country natin. Okay? And some of you have been living like hunters. There's nothing wrong with hunting, pero lang, lipat ka ng lipat, parati ka naghahanap. You can also be considered being a farmer. You know, I discovered that a hunter seeks opportunities. He gathers what he can and then leave. Because of this, he will always be on the move and in need. And that mentality has come to the farmer. So many farmers will take land like this and make it not. Hunter. However, a farmer creates opportunities by nurturing his garden. Because of this, he will never be in need and he will always have abundance. As I end lang, can I, can I share with you that one of the greatest salesmen I've met? He's my friend. He sells heavy equipment. Whenever we go, uh, when we play golf, pag meron kaming kasamang tao, alam ko kliyente niya yon, mabibentahan niya yon. alam mo, I will not hear him sell. All he does is listen for their problem. Pag may problema yung tao, sabi niya, pare, tulungan kita. Meron akong kilala, tutulong sa'yo. And then he goes around saying, tulungan kita, tulungan kita. One time, sabi nung isa namin kasama, ano binibenta mo? Sabi niya, heavy equipment eh. Tapos sabi, sabi nung kaibigan namin, wala kang benta sa akin, pero tutulungan kita. Alam mo, this is the garden that he has. He nurtured everybody, inalagaan niya, maski sino kausap niya. Then mamaya, dinadala siya sa mga benta na hindi naman diretsyo. Okay, that's his garden eh. So yung garden niyo are everybody you meet. Not necessarily the poor people who would buy. Because maybe later they point you to the next sale, or maybe in the future they decide, gusto ko nang bumili. Pero they will decide, they will buy from people who takes care of them. So, a garden like this will, a garden like this will always sustain you. Pero mahirap yan ng simula para patabain. As I end lang, there are, I want you to know that there are no unproductive farms, only unproductive farmers. There are no business that will fail. Only businessmen who fail themselves. As I end, no? I, 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 I like me leave you with this, that God created you to be fruitful. Yan ang plano niya. However, plano niya yan, iba plano niyo. You will never experience His plan unless you cooperate with Him. So, meron sana akong suggestion sa inyo. 
As God has blessed me, seek Him. Try to understand His ways. His ways, uh, He gave you your way. He, he revealed His ways to give you a better life, to make you fruitful. I don't know your religion. I don't. I'm not, I don't care about your religion. I care that you have a better way of doing things.